Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Riz and today, actually, you know what? Let me show you what we're gonna do. Oh, okay. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, let's do this. Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Riz and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can cast or screen mirror your laptop, any laptop by the way, to your TV. By the way, you don't need an Android TV and this is completely wirelessly and completely free. Okay, so in order to do this, we don't need to buy anything. We don't need to do anything. It's really, really simple. All we need is laptop and a TV and that's pretty much it. Yeah, let's dive in. All right, guys, step number one, set up the connection. Now I'll show you multiple ways you can do this. First off, you have the uh, good old Wi-Fi. Second, you can also use Ethernet cable if you want to. Third, you can use mobile hotspot coming from your phone. Or, or fourth, you can also use hotspot from your laptop. That is my favorite, by the way, and I'll show you all of them, okay? All right, so first off, let's say if you don't have Wi-Fi, let's use the mobile data. Go to the mobile data connection, turn on the mobile data and go to the personal hotspot settings. By the way, this is an iPhone and it works just the same uh, for the Android as well. So once you turn on the hotspot, by the way, be careful, this is not free, okay? So this will cost you credit depending on your network. Okay, so my, my hotspot is turned on and, and as you can see, you can see the uh, phone that wants to be connected. Okay, so that's, that, uh, that's method number two. All right, let's say you don't have a phone, but now you have you can always use mobile uh, mobile hotspot from your laptop. That means your laptop will be creating a hotspot uh, using your laptop Wi-Fi. I mean, using the laptop. It's not, not not no science in it. It's really simple, really easy. If you look at the uh, network devices, you will see that's my laptop right there. That's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. It's completely free and by far this is the this is my favorite method if you don't have Wi-Fi or if you don't have a phone or or no Ethernet cables or anything like that. All right, once your laptop is connected, that's all we need. And now it's time for the TV, so let's jump back. All right, so this is a 11 years old Samsung TV. So this is not Android. This is pretty, pretty normal standard Samsung TV and it works with any TV you have, okay? It doesn't matter, Samsung, LG, Sony, whatever. So go to the settings and go to the network settings, okay? By the way, if you have never done this before, go to the network settings inside the settings. Or if you have connected your TV before, you can always just go to the network status and make sure your TV is connected to that connection, okay? So as again, as I said before, go to the network settings again you can use hotspot you can use Wi-Fi as I, I'll, I'll show you in a bit there you, there you can see first off is my Wi-Fi second is my laptop hotspot that is running in the background third is my phone's hotspot now you have three options uh, I would say use the laptop that it's because it's, it's free and it's really really easy you don't need uh, like Wi-Fi or Ethernet cables or connections or something like that because we don't need internet connection for this it just we just need a network that's all okay so just make sure your TV also if you are connecting your TV to either of your uh, connections just make sure your laptop is also connected to that connection so for example if I want to use my mobile hotspot on my TV so just make sure your laptop is also connected to the mobile hotspot if you're using the uh, laptop hotspot that that's pretty much it I mean you're using the laptop so that's okay. All right, so once your TV is connected, now this is a really, really old TV, so I apologize. So I have to open this grooming tab, but this you, you may not need to open this grooming tab on your TV. So go to the network settings or click source on your remote control as I showed you before. Go to the screen mirroring tab and open the screen mirroring option right there. Once you're on this screen, that's pretty much all we need. Let's jump back to the laptop. All right, so on your laptop, the first thing you wanna do is to go to the settings on your laptop and then go to the uh, go to the devices and then you have option to add a device. So just click on add a device and then select the wireless display and then it will automatically scan for any TVs running in the background. See, that's my TV. So once you see your TV in the list, just click on it and bam, 
you are connected, you are screen mirroring or casting your laptop to your TV completely free and no lags at all. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. And I'll show you, I'll show you multiple ways you can uh, make it useful as well. So on your laptop, you can, you have multiple options. You can watch uh, movies, you can uh, watch Netflix, you can, uh, enjoy music again you can use use it for presentations also if you want to you can press windows and p p for uh, a parrot to change the uh, projection style you can make it a duplicate you can make it extended just like a third monitor and yeah that's pretty much it pretty pretty awesome right and this is this is completely wireless by the way as you can see in the top of it so if you want to disconnect you can use you can click on disconnect at the top at the top also this is a new windows but if you don't have this connect option you can always go back to the settings go back to the devices settings and inside the devices settings you can go to the uh you can just disconnect the wireless device at the bottom of it at the bottom of it and that's pretty much it pretty pretty cool right so let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below uh comment section below i do have an end note for this video so stay watching stay tuned stay tuned yeah keep watching and i'll uh, i'll catch you in the next one pretty awesome right it is pretty awesome yeah well it's completely free and it's quick too so yeah any questions i'll, I'll i'm happy to help in the comment section below be sure to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Peace out. This is it for me. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you liked the tutorial. And if you have any questions, I will definitely answer you in the comment section below. So do comment if you have one, but this is it for me. If you are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.